All right? I mean, it's as simple as that. I don't see why anybody who's collecting entitlements, anybody who's collecting any government cheese, food cards, or any of that other crap, I don't see why they should have the right to vote. They shouldn't. They shouldn't, for Christ's sake, because if they did, uh, you know, they could be bought off by whatever politician gives them promises for more money in their goddamn government cheese account or their food card, for Christ's sake. It's legal extortion. I mean, they're buying votes, for Christ's sake. This is why those that are collecting entitlements should not, and I repeat, they should not be allowed to vote, period. All right? And if you don't like it, well, then tough titty. All right? This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right? And, you know, it seems that we've lost a little bit of that bravery part uh, when all these stupid scumbags in America decided to become uh, assholes in a bread line uh, begging Big Brother government to please give them another loaf, for Christ's sake. It's disgraceful. It's no coincidence why we have illegals, uh, and not just illegal immigrants, but regular legal immigrants coming into this country, not only working, but they're making businesses, man! I belong to my local chamber of commerce, and there are countless of immigrants that are actually business owners. Now, can somebody explain to me why a person that's not native to this particular land all right. Why exactly can they go and capitalize off of the freedoms that these stupid Native American idiots take for granted? Can somebody explain that to me for Christ's sake? Can somebody please explain it to me with some kind of logic? <sighs> Jesus Christ. 778, you're on the horn. What's up? Yeah, you're taking too long. 909, what's up? Hello? Yeah, you, you sound too young to be on here. 502, what's up? Tell me about it. Hey, Twilight, what about me, huh? Look at this, this idiot sitting back watching uh, My Little Pony. That's how sick uh, some of these bronies are for us. I, I, I could just see this idiot, some fat, bloated piece of crap. He's got cellulite dripping off the chair, got, you know, uh, huffing down on some goddamn cheese balls watching My Little Pony. It's just sick-ass, perverted Woody Allen, butt-loving garbage. 801, you're on the horn. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Do you work for the radio because no other job will accept KKK members? You stupid son of a bitch. You know, what you don't, idiots don't understand is that I'm my own man. You understand? I work for nobody. I work for myself. You see, that's what you idiots want to be, but you can't. And the reason that you can't is because you're more worried about knowing every episode of My Little Pony. You're more worried about knowing, uh, you know, who's the latest asshole hopping around stage like he's got a hamster hanging out his shit funnel on American Idol. You're more worried about the latest, uh, you know, couple on Dancing with the Stars. That's what you people are worried about. You understand? I mean, you know, I am my own man, for Christ's sake. I wake up 5.30 every morning, come to my office, all right? I come to my office, I start trading futures in the futures market. For all you folks that are unfamiliar with futures, well, it's a little complicated. That's why I don't even cover it. I mean, these idiots out here can barely understand equities and commodities. I want to make sure you think that they're going to be able to uh, trade actual Dow and uh, uh, NASDAQ and S&P futures, for Christ's sake. Not only that, I get options uh, squared away for any potential option plays that I'm doing before the uh, trading day is happening. And then once the trading day starts, I'm day trading. You understand? I'm day trading. I'm, I'm out here trying to get uh, liquid capital off of the volatility that we have in today's markets, for Christ's sake. And there's a lot of volatility to be able to get some decent liquidity. And what do I do with the liquidity that I get from day trading? I put it in other long-term investments, or maybe I just cash out a little bit every now and then. But the bottom line is that's what I'm doing. And on top of doing that, <laughs> I'm a capitalist, baby. I've got real estate. You know, I own, like, several pieces of real estate all across Texas. I've got a piece of real estate off the coast, which is beachfront, you know, beautiful beach, you know, private, the whole nine. All right, I've got uh, you know a piece of property right here in the middle of downtown Austin, Texas, and uh, I've got another piece of property somewhere else out here in Texas, and uh, you know I'm living lavish off those pieces of real estate because they're assets. You understand? I mean, I could use those as collateral because uh, you know if I ever wanted to build some big humongous.
humongous uh, project of some sort, all right? Thirdly, I've got, I used to have three, but now I've got two brick-mortar businesses, all right? Which means, brick-mortar means they're actual retail locations or they're an actual store somewhere in Texas. I used to have three, got two. I sold one off the, uh, here in the past couple of months, which has generated a humongous amount of capital. That's where I've, uh, that, that's the money I've been bottom feeding on, baby. You understand? That's the money I've been bottom feeding on right there is the selling and the liquidation of that one brick mortar business, for Christ's sake. All right? <laughs> and that's how I'm making money, baby, because I've got to have it. Ooh, I've got to have it. I mean, that's what I do, baby. I'm a capitalist. All right? I mean, that's what I do. And not to mention that, you know, when I make big profits, um, I make sure that, uh, well, let me let me put it to you like this, all right? The easy part's making the money. The hardest part is keeping the money because you've got so many people trying to grab a piece of that cake. If it's not the government trying to tax your ass to death, it's family out here trying to, you know, get on, hop on board with your lifestyle. And I'm not just talking about your intermediate family. I'm talking about your extended family, like asshole cousins that you ain't seen in like 50 years. They come out and they're like, hey, how you doing, cousins? How you doing? You know, I'm talking about, you know, stupid bimbos that, you know, you gave the high hard one to after a night at the ooh la bar. They find out that you're worth a couple of a couple of bucks, and they come up here with some kid that, they, that they're claiming is yours, you know, that, that sort of thing, you know? I mean, the bottom line is is that I am a capitalist. I'm going to be a capitalist to the day I die. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm considering, because I do have some extra capital, I'm considering making another venture uh, into a brick-mortar business. I kid you not. Now, the, the bad part about it is is that uh, this potential project that I'm thinking about out here, I'm going to open up another store out here in Texas, uh, I, I've been considering, I've been considering, I haven't made any final decisions on it, I've been... Uh, uh, you know, pricing out all the potential costs, uh, so on and so forth. I've got capital in my pocket. I can generate and raise capital. Um, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, going into another brick-mortar business. The problem is, is that I'm not going to be able to do this show that often if I do that, you know. And I'm considering it because I'm getting a little greedy, baby. <laughs> I mean, I want to live larger, baby. I want to live larger. <laughs> and I'm considering it, all right? I'm considering it here, all right? And I'm not going to say what business I'm getting into, but let me tell you right now, I'm thinking high-end retail right now, all right? That's what I'm thinking, high-end retail, as it relates to any potential ventures of the future. And I strongly advise anybody who's got enough money uh, to go into a business venture. And, you know, you don't necessarily have to have the money on you. You just have to have enough assets to be able to put up uh, in, uh, as collateral so that the bank can lend you the money. And when the bank lends you the money, don't be an idiot and blow it, all right? Be an actual business owner and take that money, use it to your advantage, pay back your loan, you're living golden. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. But anyway, like I said, I mean, I've been considering it, and I'll let, it, I'll let people know here in the next couple of months whether or not I'm going to take a hiatus from the show because uh, this business that I'm considering investing in, I mean, I've got to go and make sure that it is constructed properly. So that means I gotta be there and make sure that these goddamn contractors aren't uh, shortchanging me with material. I gotta make sure that uh, you know these idiots aren't uh, doing a sh doing shoddy work. I gotta make sure that they're not. Uh, I, you gotta be on the ball with these things. And then once the thing's constructed, you gotta make sure that you uh, you know build yourself a pretty decent employment team. The whole nine yards, baby. And that's the way it is. And I love it. Oh, yeah, people are saying they're bored, for Christ's sake. They're bored? Oh, man, I didn't know y'all were bored. Well, let's just, let's just, uh, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's sing something. How about that? How about, let's all sing something. Let's all sing this. Here, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Well, we're going to do this for the rest of the show. The rest of the show.
sacks of crap. You know what I'm saying? And this is Baller Friday, baby. Baller Friday is what it is. <laughs> I don't need to be sitting here talking to these people that are like, oh, I'm bored. Well, if you're bored, turn it off. How about that? Turn it off, you stupid, pathetic loser. How about that? Huh? Let me go ahead and take a swing of this crap. Ah. I could be on 6th Street right now, time, baby, out there drinking it up. I mean, you know that they closed the whole street of 6th Street. You know what I'm saying? They closed the whole street of 6th Street every weekend, baby, so everybody could just kind of walk in the middle of the street drunk as a skunk. You know, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, baby. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of feeling good. I'm kind of feeling good, and, you know, there's a lot of uh, new fags in here that are saying they're bored, they're this and that. So i tell you what, instead of doing radio graffiti, instead of doing shout-outs, and instead of doing everything else, I'm out of here, baby. <laughs> I'm going to 6th Street, and I'm capitalizing. See you later, baby. See you later. <laughs> so long, suckers. <laughs> You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely his. Catch more live episodes Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30 Central. Or check out archive shows at blogtalkradio.com. True Capitalist Radio. That's it.